You see them in the skies above you. you. They're drones. They're buzzing along, taking video of the ground below. But who's really in control? Well, drone technology is still relatively new, and there are not a lot of laws protecting us from those eyes in the sky. Yeah, let's head out to Michael Oder now, who, who's live outside. Yeah, Michael, you have been looking into this. You've been looking into the privacy concerns. And also, this is a business for a lot of people. Drones are pretty easy to buy. Yeah, that's right, Jim and Sherry. You can get a drone at pretty much any hobby shop across the state. Even Best Buy sells these drones that you can get here. But it's drones like this one here that we've got in our parking lot that has first responders and a lot of state agencies very interested. This is a custom built drone. And if you see one of these flying outside of your business or outside of your home, it could be a little difficult to find out who's actually in control. You see the video all over the internet. Drones are giving us a brand new perspective on our world, our communities, and even weddings. Unmanned aerial vehicles aren't just for the government anymore. You can get one yourself. Yeah, you can certainly go to the hobby shop or Amazon and buy one and be flying it later this afternoon, especially if you get it from the hobby shop. Kevin Allred and Brandon McMahon own AGL Aerial, a company that specializes in aerial video and photography. They custom build their drones, and now they're working to build drones for several Birmingham area police and fire departments. The fire departments, it's an amazing tool. If they have a large fire at an industrial complex or something like that, as the initial units go on scene, they can deploy a small drone and go inspect the area. In fact, their drones have already flown over fires in the area. Police departments are interested in using the drones for searches. When the grass gets waist high, you can have guys walking across this field and they can spend the better part of a couple of hours searching it. If I put just a live TV camera up, I can search this whole area in just a span of a couple minutes. And not only can I find the person, but I can probably tell you how they got there. I can see their track through the grass. Talk to anybody who flies these drones like this one here. They'll tell you that they're a lot of fun and they've got a bunch of different uses. But when it comes to what the state says they can and can't do, well, really, the sky's the limit. Certainly law enforcement is a major area. John McMillan is the commissioner for agriculture and industries in Alabama. All kinds of applications with the Department of Transportation, with inspecting bridges, for example. He believes drones can not only help first responders, but grow the ag industry as well. He and many other state leaders are part of Governor Robert Bentley's Unmanned Aerial Systems Task Force. I asked them what they plan to do to address privacy concerns. We didn't get a lot of feedback, but we know that's an issue, uh, as it has been everywhere. So that's a part of what we're going to be addressing with these new recommendations to the state agencies. McMillan hopes that by making lawmakers part of the task force, laws can be created to regulate drone usage. Right now, there are no real rules or regulations in place to answer the concerns of who is flying drones and what are they looking at. Now, there's a lot of fear and misperception about these devices when it comes to privacy. Do you think maybe through the state coming out and saying, hey, we want to use these devices for these purposes, that might kind of clear up some of that? Uh, we live in an age where social perception is driven by social media. Um, unfortunately, it's hard to say what's going to be the uh, the silver bullet that makes everybody accept the use of drones. It may just be where we have to start seeing them every day and it becomes commonplace. Hobbyists say that education can take the stigma away. You know, if I take one of these things to the beach and go fly along the beach, I'm not trying to look at somebody's wife in a bikini. I can see your wife in a bikini by walking down the beach. With no official regulation on how this technology is used, there's no real punishment set for those who use them inappropriately. It's up to us to watch the skies and report anything that looks out of place. And right now, of course, you see our drone here in our parking lot. Uh, the task force is still gathering their research and doing uh, their suggestions to get some something on the book for Governor Bentley to look at. Of course, the Federal Aviation Administration also looking at uh, how they can go about regulating the usage of this technology. But for the time being, we're sort of all in a holding pattern till we can figure out exactly what is going on. We're live in Birmingham tonight. Michael Oder, WIAT 42 News coverage. You can count on. Still takes some getting used to seeing drones flying around. Yeah, good night. It's flying around. Yeah, good night.